And a very good evening, everybody. I'm John Cole. The Lady Teton volleyball team will take on Bismarck State tomorrow in the capital city for the sub-regional title. One of the sophomores on this team is Alyssa Oliver. Not only is she an outstanding volleyball player and leader, but a very good softball player with a good bat who comes up with big hits and big moments in games. And yes, playing a lot of sports helps even on the college level. How's uh, playing softball helped you with volleyball? Um, I think, you know, staying in shape all year long, but it's kind of teaching me, you know, see, like, you know, go to softball practice in the morning, and then if I can, go to a volleyball practice in the afternoon, you know, like, it's kind of teaching me how to, you know, use my time wisely, so. I mean, I've covered you. You're not afraid of the moment, whether it's softball or volleyball. You're not afraid of the moment. No, I, I really like, I like kind of being in control, I'd say, but sure. I... I like being a part of all of it, and um, I'm not afraid to do anything. <laughs> Tough decision coming up, whether to play softball or volleyball. Maybe you can go someplace you can play both. Um, actually, I think that would be ideal. Um, if anything, I think I do like volleyball a little bit more. but. <laughs> There you go. She's a former Haver Blue Pony, and whoever gets her will get a good leader and good athlete. We hope she gets to the Nationals in volleyball and to the World Series this uh, spring for softball. Following the 2022 14-year-old Babe Ruth World Series here in Williston, people came up to me and said, all the time. When are we going to host another World Series? Well, now I have the answer. Williston will host the 2027 14-year-old Babe Ruth World Series at beautiful Offutt Stadium. Eight different regions will be here, including the state champ of North Dakota and, of course, the host team from Williston. This will be Williston's sixth time hosting the World Series. The others, 1980, 03, 013, 016, and, of course, last year, 22. Dates to be determined. Great news. No one does it better. And Babe Ruth Baseball knows that. That's why they keep coming back to Williston, North Dakota. Congratulations to all our great baseball folk. The Major League Baseball World Series begins on Friday night in Texas. The long shot Rangers meet the even longer shot Diamondbacks. Here's their game one starter on those Rangers. Yeah, no, I mean, this isn't going to be any easier of a task, honestly. Um, this is a really good lineup. This is a team we've seen, I think, what, four times this year, four or five times. I don't know how many times we play them. But, yeah, I mean, it's a really good lineup. Um, you know, we didn't we didn't get a chance to see Evan Carter um, earlier in the year. So that's another fold that they added into the mix. Um, and, yeah, and, they're, and they're, they're playing hot, too. So um, it's not going to be an easy task by any means. But yeah, it's it's still surreal. I mean, I it, it kind of started to hit me a little bit on the way to the ballpark today. Um, you know, having the escort here, just thinking like, you know, 730 days ago, whatever it was, like who would have really thought um, we would be here right now, um, this this soon, this quickly. So yeah, it's it's um, I'm just proud of the guys in the clubhouse, the guys that have, that have walked through the dark times over here, and then the guys. The young guys that have come up and just stepped up right away and, and kind of inserted themselves into this, you know, success we're having has been, um, it's incredible. Nathan Avaldi, a great big game pitcher for the Rangers. He helped the Red Sox win a world championship, so he's going to be on the other side of the mound. You can watch it game one of the Fall Classic tomorrow night, 7 p.m. on our sister station, West Dakota Fox, after opening up their season with three wins. Teton hockey team, they're going to get back to work next week, Friday, November 3rd, on the road at Lake Region, and uh, they will also take on the Royals on Saturday. And with that, folks, we take a timeout on First News at 10.